We'll go to uh, Alex James now. Mr. Rabbit, between 1993 and 1994, you were the executive director for the Australians for a constitutional monarchy. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm just wondering, does your future vision for Australia involve any kind of Republican model? And do you agree with uh, the fact that not all Australians can celebrate Australia Day, i.e. Indigenous Australians? Um, uh, I'm, I'm perfectly happy with our existing constitutional arrangements. Uh, I think that the Crown has been a grace note uh, in our national life and I am anxious that uh, any of the various proposed republics uh, would add a needless note of uncertainty and instability uh, into our polity. Now, uh, I, I know that there are some Aboriginal people who aren't happy uh, with Australia Day. For them, it remains Invasion Day. Uh, I think a better view is the view of Noel Pearson, who has said that uh, Aboriginal people have much to celebrate uh, in this country's British heritage. And uh, I would like to see... <laughs> I, know, I know not everyone agrees with him, uh, but I think there's much to be said uh, for that view, and I think that... Uh, Aboriginal heritage, Australia's Aboriginal heritage should be important to all of us uh, and I think that uh, Australia's British and Western heritage should also be important to just, all of just us. Just on the question of uh, the Republic, uh, you weren't mm. always opposed to all the models for a Republic. According to uh, Peter Costello, it was you the, made... It was the least worst option. The McGarvey yeah. model, as it was called. Uh, yeah. You made a last-ditch attempt to appeal yeah. to John Howard to vote yeah. for it. Yeah. I, 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 said that, I said that if we are going to become a Republic, let's have the least worst option. I said that was the best of a bad lot, not that I ever wanted us to become a McGarveyite republic. Could you imagine being a Prime Minister in an Australian republic? Uh, I don't think an Australian republic is likely any time soon, and uh, my political career <laughs> is not going to last <laughs> that long, <laughs> Tony. I, I mean, a, Repub a republic uh, is generations away, and I don't expect to be in Parliament when I'm 100. <laughs> Uh, yeah, well, I mean, that could have been taken in several ways. I actually. understand, yes. I understand. Yes, yeah. but I suppose yeah. uh, if you're doing yeah. the 100-year yeah. model, yeah. Uh, you obviously aren't going to last as a leader yeah. for 100 yeah. years. Yeah. Uh, one wouldn't imagine, mm. but the way you're running, perhaps you will. I try to stay fit. <laughs> um, but in any event, mm. you're, you're basically ruling out yeah. the possibility of a republic in your lifetime. Well, well look, uh, this, this is... The Liberal Party uh, doesn't have a, a formal position... Uh, on a republic, and um, uh, if, if a proposal were to come forward, um, it would be, uh, as far as we're concerned, it would be a free vote uh, in the parliament uh, and in any subsequent referendum, um, but, uh, but I can't imagine the circumstances where I would be supporting change. OK, we have run out of time. Sorry to those people who still got their hands up. Please thank our guest, Tony Abbott.